I don't know. You gotta hit rock bottom to sober up. That's how everybody sobers up. I don't. I've never hit rock bottom. Well, maybe I have. It's all perspective. But I've never. <laughs> you know, <laughs> somebody else's rock bottom might have just been me going. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they're going to let us back into that water park again. <laughs> I don't think I've ever hit rock bottom. I hit the sides all the time. All the time I hit the sides. But every time I get to a lower, I think this has got to be rock bottom. This whole new realm opens up. It's like, ooh, get the headlamps and the climbing gear. We're going spelunking. We're going in search of this elusive rock bottom I keep hearing about. This fictional land. My rock bottom, I took three weeks off of drinking and doing anything. That, that, was, that was the saddest moment, was, was Saturday at the end of three weeks being sober. That was rock bottom. That was... <laughs> It was a Saturday night, and I was just cleaning my bathroom in absolute silence. I was like, this isn't living. This isn't, this isn't how you celebrate freedom. <laughs> Doing a chores on Saturday night, that's okay, but do a bottle of wine, Motley Crue's greatest hits, you know? Too fast for love, squirt, squirt, squirt. Just Yosemite salmon, two bottles of Tylex into the ceiling. <laughs> Oh man, this stuff says using a well-ventilated area. I don't even have windows in this bathroom! Oh my God! Oh, I gotta take a walk outside. The floor's sliding under the wall again. That's how you do it. On my knees with a Clorox wipe, wiping off my own piss dribbles. Like, well, I guess this chore's done. Like, this is how inmates pass the time. That's not how someone who celebrates freedom. If you're not drunk, cleaning your bathroom, what are the troops even fighting for? I'm just saying. How do you even call yourself an American? 